Can you imagine if it was impossible to fucking pull off Meteor if you were interrupted in the middle of it? I, I think I would genuinely cry every single time. Which means, like, most of these episodes would involve permanent fucking tears. Yeah, no. Thank you, Amala, for being- oh, so kind to me. To be honest, it would make more sense if it did stop. Because it would actually give that attack a weakness, but, I mean, I guess it would also make it impossible for, like, its one purpose? Because it only works when there's a sh- no, okay, we've- there are still mines. It only really works when there are shitloads of enemies around you, right? And if there are shitloads of enemies around you, it's kind of likely that they're probably trying to bite your face off. And if they're trying to bite your face off, they're probably gonna get a fucking bite in or two. If that staggers you and that ruins the fucking attack, that would be a complete nightmare and render it totally useless. So I guess it's just an impossible attack to balance, which is kind of a shame. But it makes sense. Alright, I can't wait to actually see Sky Crown. The way to it was a little bit mundane, but I mean, it still had one of my favorite fucking... Oh, no way. No way have we already got the robes. It's amazing. It, it's actually amazing. I love what we have, but I can't turn that down. Ooh, maybe I can. Maybe I need to. 30% mana regen. Oh, it does the same. One mana regen that we're losing. It's straight up worse in most ways, except for that health boost we now get. I'm now doing 2% less damage. Ah, I don't know. I don't know. I absolutely love it, though. And finally, we look just a little bit different. I've still got my crown on because I don't think anything will ever replace that crown. That crown is just the greatest thing I think I've ever seen in my entire existence. And it will stay that way forever, but oh man. Man! This feels good. It feels good to finally switch it up. I've been looking at that exact same fucking gear for literally 75 episodes or something like that now. Because I literally, I, I just, um... I was about to say edited. I edited them, edited them ages ago. But uh, you want to know the most boring part of doing YouTube, or the most mundane part of it? It's uploading and setting titles and everything. I'm sure it wouldn't be nearly as bad if I didn't do eight videos a day every single fucking day. But I absolutely adore bringing you guys content, so I can't quite help myself. Uh, but yeah, I literally just set those videos up for upload, the ones where we were in... Ah, uh, what do you want to call it? I, I never know its name. Naros, I guess. Uh, but yeah, I literally just set those up for upload, and that's like episode 40-something. Episode, like, 48 is when we left Naros, even. Um, or something like that, I think. So, and now I know that this is, like, episode 100 and something, or some anywhere close to that? That's a bit terrifying. <laughs> My god, this is gonna be a really long series. My longest series ever, as it stands, I don't know if this will go up before or after uh, that series begins or ends, but my longest series of all time is Dragon Age Inquisition, which went to exactly 200 parts plus DLC, which is fucking terrifying to me. When I've, I've done like, what, five main missions? Maybe that's completely underestimating it, but very few main missions in this game. And we're already, like, I don't know, maybe this will take us to 120, 130 in this session? And, and I'm just here doing a shitload of side quests on the second region of the entire game. That makes me piss myself. This might be the longest game I've ever played on the channel, and I am all for that. I am fucking loving Amala. None of it even feels, uh, forced. None of it seems like, oh god, stuff I just wouldn't want to do, and I, I don't know how they do that. They have made one of the most fleshed out worlds I have ever, 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 ever been a part of, and I just want more forever. Uh, please stop doing that. Please actually attack because I just realized that you're gonna be by far the best way for me to ever heal at this point. Oh, I'm critting every second! I love this so much! I can actually hit one of those, finally! Uh, dude, would you, would you like to actually bother? Would you like to actually have a reason to exist? N no Okay, fine. Fucking die, you little ass. Oh, I can't bring myself to... I know he's like a walking corpse covered in terrifying ancient rotting armor. There's something about him that's just so adorable. He's so eager to please, even though he's not got a single fucking ounce of intelligence. Uh, just uh, something that maybe reminds me of myself, who knows. There you go. Oh, that sucked. Everything about that sucked. 
We're gonna be sitting here for a while, huh? I love this new gear, but it might just drive me insane. We're taking a mana potion, and we're actually accomplishing something. Let's go. Oh, it's just endless. That's it. I like dealing with you. You guys are exciting, and it, it, it's, it's people we haven't dealt with for a while. And you know what? I like to be challenged. And so far, when was the- Oh, he died instantly. I was literally about to say, when's the last time we've met a dude that can take a meteor strike? Apparently, he very much can't. But yeah, I don't know. At least it's, uh, at least it's just a little bit of variety that we have not experienced in quite some time. That Rathir looks very far into the distance from here. But I love that no matter where you are, as long as you're in the plains, you can see Rathir. And they think about, like, the positioning and everything. It's really fucking good. I, I don't want to call that world building, because it's not world building. But the consi consistency, I guess you could say, of the world is absolutely orgasmic, and I love everything about it. Prepare to fucking die, please! Thank you! Are you dying to one of those? Why have I been struggling with these dudes? What has been going on? These guys are just just as pathetic as ever. Was I taking on extra tough ones? And for some reason the ones- Oh, because Shaman and Warrior are two very, very, very different boys. The Shaman is by far like a thousand times more powerful. Oh my god, I forgot just how scary the nukage can be. There we go. And that was just on one guy as well. I can hit an entire legion with that if I want to. Oh, don't you dare die, little bone boy. You're the only reason I ever have health right now. And I guess I'm gonna have to get used to that for a while. Is this where I want to be? Where am I at? Seems to be the right way. And it seems like I'm gonna have to literally sprint my way down Skycrow. Oh, this is gonna suck us. Man. It's like so beautiful. I don't even know why, because it is... Oh, look at that tech. Look at that sky texture. Uh, uh, if I looked at that for longer than 10 seconds, if, if I was just looking at that, I think I would immediately vomit. But with everything combined, and even the music adds to the visuals somehow, I just... What the fuck? Hold on. I've just received a donation out of nowhere. Oh, that's sweet. Sorry, I don't normally look like look at shit like that on um while I'm recording, but... <laughs> Let me just quickly say thank you for that. There we go. I'll be right back. And we are back. So, let's scale our way to the top of Sky Crown and see what the fuck this gorgeous place has to- Oh, you're gonna be possessed, aren't you? No? Yes? Maybe? Oh, thank fuck! Sky Crown Mountain. It's beautiful, isn't it? Like stars. So what the hell the were the Dark sky. Empyrean robes the doing in this place? I never had to fight her. Arrange themselves throughout our world in different patterns. This place is a convergence of one such pattern, a focus of the energies of air and light. And what exactly the f does that fucking mean? Why are we here? What does this have to do with me? Like Aeon or Sadius? This place is to lightning what Aeod is to fire, or Sadius oh. is to ice. Your power Yet none of those places did so fucking anything for me. Time. It is astonishing, really. I am proud to have guided you this far. Aren't you a little cutie? Get to the point, old man! How dare you be proud of me! No. What are we doing here? Big fucking At sugar first, daddy? At first, I thought I could contain her. That I could keep her at bay. But I was vain. Oh her shit, I'm right, lost, aren't I? And she is tireless. Ever since your initiation trial, she has been worming deeper into my mind. She is this the lady that was helping me in my mind. trial? <coughs> I cannot fight her any longer. So I must try to end it here. Now run. Run. Ah! Oh god, I know that was a glitch, but that was the worst thing I've ever seen! Oh fucking no! Thank god! Big sugar daddy! Why this? Why now? I mean, I expected it, but I would have rather had a fucking showdown with you than watching the most comedic fucking powerful sacrifice I've ever seen. I was like, why would they make it look like that? Why not have it done in the cutscene? He <laughs> just did an adorable little haul of meat flip off. Oh, that was terrible.
And in the entire time, the fucking sky wangs in the distance were like protruding from his head. That could not have made you look any more hilarious. Oh, buddy. I really liked you. I guess a fittingly stupid end for a guy called Ethan, but, but still. God damn it, man. I feel like I sh I'm still gonna end up fighting something on the way down, though. I, I shouldn't be able to get the robes of the Dark Empyrean without fighting the fucking Dark Empyrean, or at least I assume she's called the Dark Empyrean. I have no fucking idea. How the hell? How did I not activate that shit on the way in, but I activate it as soon as I show up again? I, I don't know. Let's not fucking question it. Can I... There's no way I'm gonna be able to fast travel out of this. I mean, this is a long-ass journey. And shit is still... Why is shit still spawning? Hello? You should not exist. Nothing about this should exist. You should just let me pass at this point. This is kind of really adding to my theory that we still need to take on a big fucking bitch monster when we get to the end of this place. Or maybe the corpse of Ethan rises again. Please no. Why couldn't you have warned me about any of this? My loving fucking mentor. Oh god, okay, that's kind of terrifying. I love that. Huh. I don't know. It's kind of... That could have felt a lot bigger. I feel like the House of Ballads is probably still by far my favorite faction questline. This was really, really shaping up to be something, but now my favorite boy involved is already... Go I guess, to be fair, the Traveler's questline is also really interesting. I like what's going on with Grimm. I like what's going on with the Hierophant. I enjoy the different sort of cast of characters we meet every single time we go to a new camp and how varying every single camp seems to be. The Star Camp was sort of like the badass hunters, like the more combat-focused uh, thieves and everything. Uh, or rogues, whatever the fuck you want to call them. The Moon Camp was much more like the artistry side, like maybe the bard form of ro 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 la 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 la. rogues and everything. I have no idea what the other camp's supposed to be, but I, I'm hoping they still sort of maintain the whole theme of being different every fucking time. Maybe we'll straight up see the actual master thieves this time around. How the fuck did you get all the way over here? Dude, you are insane. I'm gonna, I'm gonna skip out on dealing with those Etten because we have dealt with so many fucking Etten. And I feel like it's gonna be, oh, there's more. I feel like it would be much fucking faster if I totally ignore you and run this way. Apparently still did damage to me, but I just didn't flinch. This man literally landed on my fucking face and I ignored it. When did I become this badass? And when did these Freemen show up out of literally no No, fight the fucking Etin, you don't get to fight me. Or the wolves, or literally anything other than me. Oh, that guy still exists off in the distance. Wait, who are you? That would be Bardan Tam. I, I know that name, but I'm not quite sure why the fuck I know that name. Oh, the wolves are backing off. I feel like I'm getting closer and closer to what I actually need, and I'm so sure he's gonna be sort of... Just standing, ominously, twitching the fuck out, neck swiveling on fucking command or whatever the hell. God, that was horrifying last time. You went so far. You went even farther than I thought last time. No, I'm not going to the fucking gallows. Piss off. Antelopes, you'll defend me, right? No, because they fear the ever-loving fuck out of me because of my constant murder balls. I can't control my murder balls, okay? It's not my fault. Look at them bouncing around down there. You're not a part of this. I have to beat this old man that- Oh my god! You straight up left a crater in the entire world. You pummeled the fucking earth into oblivion, yet your old fucking ancient 90 year old bones are still intact. Aethon, you are my clever. favorite. It took a great effort to break his mind. And at the last moment he sought to deny my victory. Unfortunately for you, he failed. Are you beginning to see the pattern, child? From I might be, so why have you not even bothered to try and get into my I fucking brain? My form. Who am I? What do How you want? Could you possibly understand the music that I move to? Does the hurricane explain to the reed why it roars? I am the hurricane, and you are nothing more than a reed, stubborn, unbent, and soon broken. 
So, uh, you know when we were fighting alongside each other and everything, and I absolutely obliterated the enemies while you were doing no damage whatsoever? Yeah, do you ever remember that? Cause I think I might be the fucking hurricane, and I don't even think you get to be a reed. I think you get to be a tiny little fucking insect clinging to said reed for fucking protection. You're a- uh, let him go. There might be a chance. I don't want to piss her off. There's no way she'll let him go, right? Oh, I buddy. have eaten the fruit of Irmansul, the tree king, and Ugh. thrown blood Why? into the fields of Aesir Danon. I have sucked marrow from the bones of Arathi and listened Again? to the Why? flying stars. I am the Imperial. I like how one of the, the things you said Arden, was that you've eaten an apple. <laughs> and then the next one is like you consoled a star while it exploded. To your will. Now, What's more interesting? Not what I wanted! Not what I wanted at all! That was a heal! You're green. Your health bar is green. Oh my god. You still died in one? In the body of Aethon? One of the biggest badasses I think we've ever worked with? I don't know why he's a badass. I've never seen him fight in my entire fucking existence. <laughs> oh, he sort of just collapsed. Face fucking first. When the fuck did he get a Stormstone? What the fuck? He was holding out on us. He said he was constantly fucking examining the, uh, just says return to Wrath here. Okay, we're gonna get greeted as soon as we get there? I don't know. But, um, hello, words, you want to come to me? Please? Please, I, I desperately need you, words. I can't survive without you, words. But yeah, he was constantly saying about researching the fucking sunstone and everything. But apparently the sunstone didn't matter in the fucking first place. You're just able to conjure a stormstone out of literally fucking nowhere? Or was the stormstone the first one we found? Or maybe it was forged when we murderized him. At the stormy place. I, I have no idea what's going on, but that was actually pretty fucking badass. I feel like they could have set the atmosphere just a little bit more, but I am oh so very ready to murder this lady. <sighs> I guess this was a very convenient time for them to introduce the fucking light elf master, huh? I wonder when he's gonna end up fucking dying. Oh man, can you imagine if I went back here and every single one of the mages was channeling her? Like we walked through the door and they're all just like standing in a fucking line with their eyes glowing and everything. That would be truly incredible. And I almost hope they do that. Uh oh. Hello? Oh, there's a guy there. Oh, for fuck's sake. I thought maybe they actually were listening to me. Thought the game just got completely redesigned and recoded right before my fucking eyes. But no. But no. They're not smart enough to pull off a cool mission like that. They should fucking hire me. Yeah, you know that company that went defunct like eight fucking years ago? They should totally hire me and pay me nothing because they have no money. <sighs> there you are. I'm really disappointed. That would have been so fucking cool. <laughs> I was about to mention the mission that would have reminded me of in a completely different game, but that would be a spoiler for that completely different game, so I'm not gonna. Eran Methne. You literally have meth in your name. Good. Okay, you're cool, back. good for you. As much as I'm Parents really setting you up well there. Sky crown, that'll just need to wait until the Arch Sage is through with you. He requested you join him in his quarters, just around the corner down the hall. Who? I, I was kind of not listening quite as much as I should have been there. Because you talk really fucking strangely. A crowded mind. Oh, it's the Arch Sage! Kinda totally forgot he existed, to be honest. I'm glad he was introduced a little while ago, or I would have totally- Hello? Since fucking when? Why? He's got his own quarters just in the depths of hell? Dude, there are some perfectly good chairs up there, you know. You really didn't have to do this. Kinda horrifying, and I kind of absolutely love you for doing this, but at the same time, you're dead. Why? What the hell is going on? Oh my god! Intricate glyphs surround the body on the floor, seemingly drawn in the dead man's blood by his own hand. One empty space is visible within the complex pattern, located above the prone man's head. Place your hand in the empty space. Oh! Oh, okay, this is nice. I'm dead. Alright, the world is doomed. Dark Empyrean's taken over. Sorry about that one. Juba Kalidus. Are you what the Archsage used to be before you became that husk of a man? I had hoped you'd come sooner. The curse is strong. 
that you are here at all is a godsend. The creature that Damn, you used to be hard. You are the Kadok and Ethan. She is here. She has come for me at last. I can't say I blame her. I, I'd be coming for you too right now if this wasn't so very fucking terrifying. Oh, the what curse? Used on the savants you encountered, I tried to fend her off. Though I stand before they were you, savants? the sorceress has begun usurping other parts of my mind. I, I thought the first two myself, sucked. I made the glyph that took you here. Ah, so what part of you am I talking to right now? Can, can I not ask in the fucking slightest? Does that just not matter at all? Why ask me, Felp? Dude, because you are the only one who's ever been able to defeat her. Savants were dropping to her like they were when fucking we nothing. Talarain, I knew then that Savant Inga was right about you. Maybe too right. It is more than Yes, I kind of brought death, death to the entire world. With this sorceress before. And it's more than luck, I think. That you survived each encounter. Surprised no one's made me a savant yet. I guess you were the only one capable, but now you're gonna die, and it's never gonna be official, and the entire order's gonna fall into chaos. So great job on killing yourself, buddy. That was a fantastic idea. She's Who is the one she? That has stalked the minds of our greatest mages. Really? As if I couldn't fucking tell. Than that. Once I have been freed. There will be plenty of time to discuss her true nature. Oh, so you're not going to end up dead. I, I think you're still going to end up dead, dude. In case you haven't fucking noticed, you are a bleeding out corpse on the floor right now. How can we stop her? Without cause, I had prepared myself for this manner of attack. It is how I can speak with you now. She is assuming control Tony of Atham my is actually borderline force. smart. I cannot venture out of this sanctum. Lest I fall to her, you must thought her Instead plans. of ungodly levels of suicidal. The true history of our order. It is the only help I can give you now. Ooh, I'm getting the dirty little secrets, huh? The dark and per So, the history I've read up until now is just complete and utter bullshit? It's nothing to do with Eleanor Bread whatsoever. Am I killing Eleanor Bread as we speak? Ooh. Terrifying. Okay, the Scolier Arcana. There is more than books and scrolls, but we must solve matters here first. Then I will answer all you ask. Please do, Jubble, Mr. Jubble Boy. Return to Rathir. Return to my chambers in Rathir. I will accommodate you, but do not wait too long to return. I need your help to defeat this curse. Absolutely fucking- we are doing this right Good. now, I'm if we staying. Are swift, we should be able to break this curse before my mind is completely hers. Yeah, but I think we should really get to know each other first, you know? Sit down, have a nice little girl talk. I have Possess been following what has happened to the savants that conducted your initiation. Those poor souls. If this there was only one, what are you talking about? With them, she must have learned all she could. She must be near her goal. So maybe tell me what the fuck her goal is? Goal is what she's trying to learn? As the Jubble. Age, I've trained myself to withstand attacks to my mind. Her previous attempts were weak, not as immediate as this. She does not target my conscious self now. She instead moves to conquer my repressed flaws. My misguided thoughts, and she will exploit them in time. Ah, so inside you're a complete and utter fucking serial killer. That's fun. What can I expect from her? Taking over some parts of my mind. They will be strong. Wait, so we can be killing other parts of, of you? Be wary. How do I know you're the good part? What if this is the pathological liar part of you? Oh no. Oh no. I hate this. Uh, let's go ahead and look at the book we were given, so I actually know what the fuck I'm dealing with. Does the pathological liar part also happen to be like a god-tier fucking writer? Oh, that's so much- oh, that's so many words! Aren't we supposed to be doing this quick? You gave me an entire novel to get through. <laughs> In like two minutes. Fine, fine, fine. Alright, the fall of the Dark Empyrean. 
If you want to skip this, I totally understand, but I get the feeling this could be pretty damn important. The fall of the Dark Empyrean. And so it came to pass that in the years of strife, when the tyrant Queen Sidonis had sown the fields of Arithel thigh deep with blood, that's very specific. That's a very. Uh, 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 that's just between knee and waist. Did we really need another measurement? Three unlikely souls found the way out of the dark. The first met was a man named Elodan Bloodgood, a Varani shaper. He came to Arathel from far to the north, searching the world for the knowledge of the stone. After refusing to build a temple in Sidonis' name, he was cast into prison. The second was a gnome named Maris Torix. A gifted Gnosticant, he had long ago left the safety and comfort of his libraries to travel the world, to learn of things with his own eyes. For teaching a doctrine different from the unquestioning worship of Sedanus and her regime, he too was cast into prison. The third was born deep within the dungeons of Rathir. A young Alpha girl named Eleanor Bread, who grew to maturity, blinded by the darkness that was her only home. Apollo, uh, 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 fucking hell, can I speak English for five seconds? Thank you. Upon Eleanor Bread's ascendance to adulthood, deep within the dark of, dark of Empyrean's prisons, the gifts of elemental magics came to her. In fury, the girl burned the dungeon to the ground. Guided by masters Torix and Bloodgood, she learned to wield her gift, and together, the three of them dared to fight against the Tyrant Queen. Word spread quickly of a new group of masters and mages and artisans that would teach any willing to learn. In time, others courageous enough to challenge the Empyrean's might, might came forward, and what had started with a resistance of three quickly became ten, then a hundred, then a thousand. I feel like I've already read this. Terrible battles of magic waged. Thousands perished. Entire cities were scoured from the face of the world and untold horrors were birthed as each side tried desperately to craft the means of their own victory. The Empyreans sought the destruction of their enemies by any method. No sacrifice was too great, no atrocity too horrid. The darkest and the foulest of arts were pursued, and the cost to the populace was unrivaled by that of anyone's memory. But the light of the three refused to be extinguished. The strength of Master Bloodgood, his wisdom and his skill, set the form and foundation of their hope. The brilliance of Master Torix, his knowledge and his insight, unlocked the chains of their... bondage. What a shame. And the passion of Mistress Bread, her spirit and her fury lit the way to freedom. What none could do alone, these three achieved together. Seven years after earning their freedom, high up on the heights of the Spire of Rathir, they battled Sidonis and the Dark Empyrean was imprisoned. Too powerful to be destroyed. She was contained beneath what would become the grounds of the Stolier Arcana, sealed away by, three, by the arcane glyphs and runes of our three founders. Here she will remain, and you, Archsage, are the only sentinel of her prison. For on this foundation was the order built to reach the greatest extent of knowledge, lest the reign of the Dark Empyrean returns again. Guard this wisdom and find a worthy successor. Different paths had led each of the ch into the chains of slavery, but it was there that each found, the stre found strength from the other, and together found their freedom. And so it was that the Scolia Arcana came to be. Well, that's absolutely terrifying. Let's co-commit a horrible fucking murder, shall we, buddy? No? You refuse to come with me? I'm doing this all alone. I guess you're just the knowledge-giving part of your mind, and the rest are all ones trying to fucking end me. I would have absolutely loved to have fought alongside the Arch Sage, but whatever, I guess I'm not allowed happiness, for fuck's sake. Mantle key and the possession begins. I didn't expect to find more fucking knowledge just within a random pot, but sure, I guess we're not done reading yet. What, is, what do you sound like? You sound absolutely terrifying, don't you? I don't really want to do your voice, because it sucks. So, I guess I'll do... Old Wise Mage voice while I'm sick? Which is a bad idea, because it won't work at all, but we'll try. It... has come. What Ephraim has warned me of. 
the fear that has plagued the mind of every arch sage of our order has come to pass. She has awoken. She has found a way from her cell. I thought when such a time came, it would prove to be a more marked event that we would notice as the harbinger of our free of her freedom. And though I had reports of an initiate whose trial killed some savants and drove others to madness, she did not appear immediately. And that was her greatest triumph. For all that we knew of her, we expected her appearance to be marked by a cataclysm and chaos. The raging storm has no need of subtlety and cleverness. For with, with a whim, its winds can rip flesh from bones and burn all in its path. And she knew we would guard ourselves for such assaults, and connive to overwhelm the strongest of our orders from the shadows. And now, there are two left, myself, and the mind of the initiate who was present at her summoning. And you know, everyone else, but apparently they don't matter for some fucking reason. Who knows? I mean, we could really use an army of mages down here. But apparently I think the initiate is more than enough on his own. I don't know what the fuck that's about. But anyway, back to the reading. Even now, I feel my mind beginning to falter. Ethan Engar must have fallen. And with him, there is but one left whom I could support in earnest to assume the mantle of Archsage. I cannot falter yet. I will summon the once-was initiate here. And with aid, rest control of my mind free from the dark sorceress. To have my mind be walked upon is troubling. There are many things in here I wish no one to face or learn, for they are the things I had to rid myself of long ago when I assumed leadership of the Scoliosis boys. But if she is to be felt, I must be rid of her. Damn! Way to build the fucking Arch Sage into a really fucking compelling character in all of about five seconds. How did you do that? I'm really, I really like this guy now. He's fucking interesting. He's awesome. I will also call down the fucking Reigns of Hell because I am not down to dealing with a fucking Lenache right now. They can still do damage to me even while all that is going. I don't like that they can do that from such a fucking distance. You, sir, or madam, are the fucking worst. Why would you be dropping finesse gear in here, in the land of the fucking Arch Sage? This is not- this is stupid. And why are they living in your brain in the first place? I mean, I know they are pretty goddamn hot, buddy, but you don't need to reveal to everybody your tentacle porn tendencies. Gross. Gross. Uh, what am I looking for now? I forget what it was called already. No, definitely not that. Like the mantle or something like that, right? The mantle passes. Oh my god, there's more already. I'm sorry, guys, there are so many walls of text here, but it's gotta be done. This is fucking good shit. The years passed. After but a few weeks upon attaining the level of Savant, I was summoned to the chambers of the Archsage. Deep in the cavern beneath our chapter house, and I found him on the floor, struggling for breath, but otherwise still. Help to his senses. He reveals that he was dying, and though Balin had reached out to take Emphorim, he had yet to draw him to death. It was then that he laid everything bare. No truth omitted, no lie spoken. The true purpose of our order, the true meaning of our values and studies, were after all my life made plainly understood. And with that, he passed, pressing the band of cloth, the ring of the archsage, into my hand. I was to take the reins, he said. For better or worse, it had to be me. For worse, clearly, you fucking sucked. <laughs> you completely didn't do your job in keeping this bitch contained. But at the very least, you're an absolute badass and I love everything about you, except for the fact you're useless. So I guess that's to be applauded. Three times in the most unconvincing manner possible. There you go. Ah, uh, the Ring of the Arch Sage is made of cloth, by the way. That's disappointing. I don't want to be you at all. Why do I have to wear the fucking cloth? Cloth is boring. Ah, uh, you seem further away. This is just Etten. I know I can absolutely obliterate Etten if I want, so I'm gonna go this way first. But I will be summoning this boy. I just wish I had any kind of regeneration. 
both health and mana. I have barely any fucking mana regen, and I'm this level of god tier mage. I don't understand. Right, okay, we're gonna call down the fucking fires of hell, because it's the only way I know how to beat anything. There we go, you are absolutely corpsified. And now I'm just gonna throw my lovely frisbees of doom directly into your ribs, and you don't get to walk ever again. I just wanna use attacks that aren't gonna waste all of my fucking mana. Like they seem to constantly be doing right now. There we go. Barely took any damage from a giant boy like that. I should be proud if I wasn't so sad for you. And I guess you deserve somewhat of a few. No, not that way. Please. Oh, I just want to throw a man into the depths. Just once, please. An odd patronage. Okay, I guess we're learning about his strange daddy. That's what patron means, right? Uh, what? What? Why is patronage? Called patron because when like you've bought something right like in the in in the old days in the Victorian times or whatever I guess even sometimes now like if you bought a thing or did something like that you would be a patron of that thing right like they could say thank you for your patronage so why are you suddenly immediately their dad just because you bought some chewing gum from their fucking corner store what what a strange fr this is huge oh my god. Oh, I totally understand if you want to skip this. There's so much going on. I, I wish it could be told to us in lore stone form while I'm doing the fighting. But fine, but fine. I guess I'll flex my sickly voice acting chops again for like four seconds. Huh. I miss voice acting, but I'm sick, so I'm gonna suck at it for a while. Archsage Ephraim. Ephraim. He's taken me into his confidence once more. But I do not know why. Were I to appraise my skills honestly, I'm giving a bit less of an old voice this time around because I think it's when he's younger, but whatever. I have only a tolerable competency and interest in gemcraft and alchemy. I've found some small enjoyment in the art of creating and dispelling wards, but there is only one application of the craft that I truly find myself attracted to, and master of, battle magic. At first it was no small shame of mine that unlike the scholastic brethren I trained with for the majority of my life, I did not wish to live my life always in the library. My father, from what little I recall of him, lived part of his life as a warrior. I suppose that blood was passed down to me. But still, what use would I be as an apprentice of the Archsage of our order? Should that rank not go to a better rounded student of magic? I know little of the Archsage's duties. Indeed, I believe it was my inquiries regarding this ignorance that first brought myself to the Archsage Ephraim's attention. But should they not act as custodian to the whole business of the Order, and not merely one part of it? There are many better candidates amongst my peers, who, upon noticing Archsage Ephraim's increased attention to myself, have made similar claims in less polite terms, to be fostered by one as the Archsage. I do not wish a chain of ink and parchment on myself. As long as magic changes, there will always be battles to be fought with it. So why am I... I you told me that I was going to be learning some horrible truths about you, right? Right? And it, it's literally just that you, you're not very good at alchemy? Uh, oh no, how utterly fucking terrifying. Well, what are we ever gonna do? Like, that's not a very scathing fucking truth, is it? Is this just a part of you? Am I gonna be ending you? I, I don't wanna be taking you on. Indifference, okay. Even in the mind of your pathetic arch sage, who despite- Doesn't look very possessed to me. Has given up hope. In fact, sounds like he's had a right lovely now, sex change. Good for you, buddy. It is Proud of you. <coughs> Interesting choice for the beard to remain, but you know. How are you manipulating him? I have seen, there have been none that carried such indifference as this arch sage. Does he care about So he's just a nihilistic little teenager? <laughs> okay. No. Does he care for the lives of his subordinates? Not in the slightest. He long ago surrendered. He seemed pretty to sad about it. Ability of my return. I don't believe you at all. You are Kiara yes. Sedanus. I am the tyrant queen of the Dark Empyrean. The Interesting thing the to admit about yourself, but whatever. I was killed, but the Arch Sage knows the truth. It is, perhaps, why he has surrendered all hope. He knows I cannot be defeated, only delayed. Oh, then I'm gonna delay you so damn good, lady! 
You know how this will end. As does this arch say. Oh, that didn't sound very fun. Look at this man. He is a what did you just spawn behind me? Completely surrendered to it. He has hidden this apathy from Very the convenient world. that I showed up but then, now, huh? Let it be seen. The demons of this man's mind are yours to contend with. Sire.